Hi guys, it's Joe and welcome to what is a very difficult video to post. Um, this isn't my first time recording it and I'm still not sure whether or not it'll make it to the internet. Obviously if you're watching it, it has. Um, I'm a Scunthorpe United fan and if you're watching this, chances are you are as well. And you will have just heard yesterday that Scunthorpe are being kicked out of Glanford Park, uh, the stadium since 1988, the only stadium I've ever known. Um, and they'll potentially be playing at Games for Trinity, although Games for Trinity have said that this is news to them. They, I think the gist of what they've said is that they've uh, had an agreement in principle, but nothing concrete. So um, I don't think they're brilliantly happy at the moment either. So this is the situation, um, and I'm scratching my head really trying to understand how we got to this point, because in January, um, a guy called David Hilton came in, and um, I know he doesn't want us to make it about him, but at the end of the day, you know, and it's difficult because I feel like I'm I'm limited to what I'm allowed to say. Um, but the gist of it was he came in in January, he did a press conference or fan forum, I should say, in February. It's supposed to be like a tell-all and reassured everybody that, you know, he's got the club's best interest at heart. And he, he went at length to reassure us that he was uh, the right person to run the club. We had nothing to fear from him. He's going to build us a new stadium. He's going to build us a football club we could be proud of. And uh, I took him at his word because I take a man at his word and um, I believed him. And I've defended him repeatedly over and over and over again. Um, even nine days ago, I put up a video um, talking about what was going on and uh, basically again defended him and I got a lot of stick from that from fellow supporters and within a couple of days really the situation had changed things had been moving very rapidly and I took the video down um, not because of what people have said but because I felt what I'd said at that moment in time was no longer how I feel um, and I wish I could tell you exactly how I'm feeling but it's difficult for me to do that um, for fear of any potential ramifications so um, I do think it is fair to say that if somebody comes in and saves your club and makes you a lot of promises and then eight months later pulls all their money out I think it is reasonable to be hurt by that um, and I personally feel betrayed and that's just my opinion I hope there isn't any backlash from me saying that because all I can do is give my opinion as a passionate supporter um, but the club is in serious trouble now because the funding's gone um, and we've been told again you know, games are moving to a different county and we've been told by the club that we need to all um, keep going to the games because if we don't um, you know, a fall in attendance just might mean even more cuts than the ones that are on the way. And people are concerned that that could mean cuts to the players' budget. But it's, it's difficult to expect the same number of fans to turn up when you move to a different county. Um, certainly difficult for me, you know, I work and... Um, Sometimes when I finish work, there's enough time to get down to the ground at Glanford Park and watch the second half of the game. Now that's not going to be the case. And then there's obviously the complication of night matches. It's it's quite a journey from where I live. Um, so it's difficult. It's very difficult. And um, my fear is this is the beginning of the end for the football club. Uh, you know, there's been, we're told, a lot of people have been interested, but when they've actually looked at it, there's just too much to overcome, you know, the fact that the stadium is owned by a different party, the fact that um, the club is still racking up a lot of debt, um, you know, there's a lot of issues there. And we've gone from a promotion battle uh, to a survival battle um, again. And um, there's only so much I can take. I'm a human being. Um, there's only so much emotionally that I can take from this football club and obviously the last five years have been difficult but I feel like we've been saved from a very certain death and they're instead having a very very slow and very painful death and that's how I feel right now um, 
So tomorrow there's a game at Glanford Park. That will probably be my last ever game at Glanford Park because of a family commitment uh, in a week's time when I'm not I'm not going to be in in the area, and um, that puts me in a very difficult position because I don't know whether whether I can be there at Glanford Park or not. Um, that's causing a whole other lot of stress. But either way, um, in uh, what nine days time. Um, I won't ever see us play at Glanford Park anymore um, and something happens when you take your football team out of town a little bit of that club dies um, because it's supposed to be Scunthorpe United and again if we're playing in Gains Gainsborough possibly training in Elkiston or somewhere else I don't know no, that's not been confirmed I'm just guessing but is it really our club anymore um, so that's where I'm at um, I wish I could say more, I feel like I have to watch my words, um, hope that I can be at the game tomorrow, um, depending if they'll let me after I posted this video, but uh, that's where I'm at, kind of feeling broken, uh, betrayed, hurt, um, you know, and it's been a series of things over the last 10 years, bad decisions, um, that's left us where we are, but I'm... Um, struggling today um, I don't know what's going to happen next all I can really do is express my feelings and um, hopefully I'll be alright doing so so if you are a Scully fan be kind I'm only giving my personal opinion I'm an honest guy I wear my heart on my sleeve um, and there's an awful lot of arguing going on and understandably so because everybody's looking for somebody to blame um, you know I think certainly what happened under the old regime hasn't helped um but like i say at the same time if if a lot of promises have been made and then a few months later that's all gone you know and, and people on the outside seem to be saying well it's supporters fault you supporters have said things about your new owner and driven him out of town and that's completely untrue i know some awful things were put on social media um <coughs> excuse me but I'm pretty confident it wasn't Scunthorpe fans that posted them. And even for the sake of argument, if it was, I don't think they were true fans. And it's certainly not representative of the majority of us. So I feel like we've been demonised by the outside world to a point. Groups of people saying it's on you, it's your supporters' fault. No, it's not. Um, because a lot of them, including me, put our necks on the line and defended the chairman repeatedly. Um... And we shouldn't have done, maybe, perhaps. And hopefully I don't get into trouble for saying that. But at the same time, you know, um, it's difficult for me to post a video saying everything's fine when clearly it's not. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future. That's where we're at. Um, hopefully I don't get banned for posting this. But end of the day... We'll see what happens, um, but I just felt I had to post something today. It's been going round and round and round and round in my head and driving me a little bit crazy. So whether or not posting this helps, I really don't know. I don't know what else to do, to be honest. I really don't know what else to do. Um, so I don't have a lot of money, so I can't just say, here's some money to make it go away. I mean, I give the club what money I can at the minute anyway. And, you know, but that's where we're at. Personally, I think it's the last days of Rome. I think we're dying a slow death now with the winding up petitions, plural, and with the, the losing money, with the investment gone, with the stadium gone. I think it's only a matter of time now, but uh, that's the situation. I don't know how much more I can take. Um, thanks for watching the video. Be kind. Um, it's gone back till I die. Thank you. Bye.